Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Soul Republic Trax HD. Uh, these headphones for me stood out the most because it's a mix of bass heavy headphones and uh, studio quality monitors that will probably last you quite a while seeing how durable they are. They just arrived today. I'm really excited to see how they turn out. Uh, the packaging is really nice. You can actually see the headphones through this little window. They come with one of the highest quality cases I've ever seen. Really, really catchy. Inside is this like nylon material, super durable stuff. They throw in a nice little logo, just kind of like the Apple ones. And uh, while the headphones seem cheap to a lot of people, they're actually not that bad. Once you open it, It's made out of some kind of rubber that protects the, uh, it's one of those flex text kind of things where you can really, really see how these are not going to break, not going to wear out. The uh, plug-in here is really well built. Best thing about it, iPhone users, Droid users have a little Apple control here. Volume up, play, volume down, and a mic. The mic is actually really good. You can record conversations and all that good stuff. The uh, comparison between this $130 headphone and others in that price range is easily won by this one. I did a lot of research. You could get better bass going uh, Denon's going... Oh, the other one was um, Audio-Technica M50s. And that one clearly passes this headphone in quality, but it's huge. You're not gonna wear that outside and it's not stylish at all. So I sacrificed a little bit of quality for the durability of these and the portability and the style factor because you're not gonna go out and buy Beats for $300, which these tracks are much better than. The bass and the beats over overpower the headphones and you won't try listening to rock music on beats. It sounds horrible. The Audio Technica's price went up to uh, 150 so I definitely would recommend these over the uh, Audio Technica's now and save yourself $30 unless you plan on using the uh, M50 strictly at home then that's what uh, I would go for. Uh, inside the box, if I could get it out. Well packaged thing, by the way. Are the headphones. There are headphones strictly for dubstep listeners, just pure 100% bass. And I'm not really that kind of guy who is going to listen to that and get a headache all the time. You want to have a little like range of music and that's what these are going to be here for. So now that the M50s are $150, I don't feel like I would be able to recommend them to everybody now just because no one, not everybody in the market wants to go in with 100 and $50 headphones. When they were $100, those were the headphones to get. Don't care if they didn't look, if they were too big or anything. The quality for that price was just ridiculous, but the price has increased, so you might as well get something new, something that no one really knows about yet, something that no one really has, and that's these. And the SOL branding means soundtrack of life. I feel like these are really, really sturdy sturdy headphones I mean they're lightweight really lightweight perfect for like my purposes I will be DJing with them I didn't want to get expensive expensive like beats that are gonna break and then I'm down two hundred dollars and these sound better than them now if you're going to get these headphones by Soul Republic which actually the son of uh, monsters and lead engineer Kevin Lee I think his name is he's actually the son and he developed these much more affordable. These are called Trax HD. 
don't bother with the tracks. If you're gonna get tracks normal, they're eighty dollars in the store. Just get thirty dollar headphones, and they sound exactly the same. Get thirty dollar Sony uh, X X something, and I would not recommend those at all. So get the tracks HD, which are actually worth it. All right, onto the headphones. There's a they call them uh, sound engines, and they actually are retractable. These are really, really good, and they're customizable, so they're going for that sound, that style factor. I can get a black band with a black one of these. I got the gray on gray, because it looks really nice. And they're labeled really nice, that's not going to wear off. They're uh, really nice memory foam leather here. And for me, just no one really knows about them. None of my friends were like, oh, you know, Soul Republic. Like, no, that who, who knows about that? They're uh, customizable here to see where you want them to fit on your head. If they're too tight, if they're too up, too down, just move them the way you want them. Match them up. Put them on. And I can't hear outside noises. The, the airflow that was going in this room, I won't be able to hear it. They are on ear, they're not over ear. And that's just perfect for me. I mean, if you don't want to rock beats, if you don't want to rock, you know, tool looking guy, like you don't want to do that, these are the headphones to get because you're not sacrificing any quality for $120. And if you buy them, on uh, some sales, you can get them close to a hundred. They just look, they look awesome. I mean, if I'm DJing and some chick comes up to me like this, she's gonna wanna, she's gonna want the number. She's gonna wanna bite the neck. You know how it is. <laughs> but I just feel like they're so well built. This, this little rubber foam here, I wish you could just feel that. It just, it's so nice. really high quality engines here and uh, like I said you're gonna get a nice traveling case I'm walking around with this I'm getting late tonight <laughs> and something that uh, some people might not like is the ability to change means that you have to have dual engines here so when you go connect your headphones in you're going to have two cable plugs all right one goes in here, label left and right. One goes in here. Not at all a deal breaker. Some people just might not be down for that. Very, very good noise isolating, by the way. So, you want, you, these are able to be powered by iPods and stuff, but hooking it up to a sound card brings out the true potential in these. These are one of the Headphones that do take advantage of breaking in, put them on for you know a, cu a couple nights in a row with loud music, and break them in, sound better. The bass is tight. It's not beats where it just overpowers all your music. If you listen to beats, the uh, the bass in the music will take out any other instrument, and you'll just be left with this like rocking hard thing in your head. These are tight bass. It's to the point where you can like define something in the song. The bass is defined from any other instrument. Um, and like I said before, the uh, sound cards in a computer, that if you have a nice one, will take advantage of this and make them sound even better. The problem with these headphones is the highs. Some really high hats have a problem defining themselves at louder frequencies. But the way these bring low, if you listen to dance, electronic, a dubstep, if you listen to uh, certain rock songs, the, the, the lows are just so well defined that you can actually enjoy your music without having to get a headache later on from some other bassier headphones.
Here I'm going to uh, test out the audio quality. I've got my computer here, a little mini amp there, and uh, Battlefield 3 going on right now. <laughs> the uh, testing of the sound stage here, uh, sound position I mean, is pretty accurate. I was listening to somebody sneaking up on me in the game with this ear and I knew immediately to turn that way and he was there. So they have that on certain sound cards that you can take advantage of. So I'm gonna plug this in. And compared to other uh, headphones, you uh, will definitely be able to find something at uh, other price ranges. But what other headphones do you know that can be stretched out any way you want it? You know, they they won't break. You 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 can see other people a hundred degrees horizontal like that, and it won't even take a different form. You know, sometimes you stretch something out, now it's permanently like that. These won't do that. Put a little Tiesto going on, high quality rips. And um, I might start talking a little louder just because the when you get them directly over your ear, hopefully you have small ears. So just listen to them for a couple more to see uh, how I could describe the sound. You will definitely find uh, $150 headphones better than these, but they won't absolutely not include style and durability factor. Um, just the fact that you can uh, change these into different colors and the bass is more, um, not, not as punchy, but more uh, low, well-defined than Beats by Dre. Uh, you could definitely go go for these for uh, 120 bucks, you know, whatever. Week's paycheck, pick them up, and you'll love your music uh, a lot more. I uh, definitely would recommend them. Have like a little thing going on with your friends. Tell all those uh, $300 beat users you feel sorry for them. Like I said, voice control for your iPod. iPod would drive them well. You don't have to buy, you know, two hundred dollar amps for these. Not necessary. Let's see how loud they can go. The bass isn't gonna rock your head to the point where it hurts. And some people like that. They're bass heads. They're headphones for bass heads by Denon, by um, Audio-Technica, by the Sony ones are good, San Samson ones are good. It's really well, it's really, uh, I can't hear my own voice right now. <laughs> so the noise isolation is good. Um, Use high quality music and you will notice it. So, that's it for this. And I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, please drop a comment, follow me. They sound really good. Um, Facebook.com slash Kid. My Twitter is uh, iChrisIntel, all in the description. I'll link you to the other headphones in case you want to look at those. But all in all, thanks for listening, guys.